Well, as the nation continues to stand with France, there are still some concerns tonight about the threat of any potential attacks right here in the United States, mainly in other venues of large crowds like football games. WLWT News 5's Tammy Matassa is live for us tonight with more on the security measures being taken for tomorrow's primetime Bengals game that will be broadcast to audiences around the world. Tammy? Curtis, officials are very confident about tomorrow's security plan here at Paul Brown Stadium. They tell fans to come early, have fun, do not be scared, but also be vigilant. Hooray! The Houdé Nation will be under the national spotlight Monday night. I feel super safe. It's America. I feel super safe. Nothing will stop the Lopez family from Pennsylvania from being ready to roar, even as security is beefed up in light of the Paris terrorist attacks. In anywhere you live, we're going to be vulnerable. But you can't, if, if you're scared, if you're scared to go out, that means you're going to be scared to live. And you can't be scared to live. Who they? But Lee Johnson says he gave up his tickets to the game after the attacks. We was going to come to the game tomorrow, but since everything is so chaos right now, we decided to hand our tickets over to some of our friends. The Bengals say they are ready with a multi-layered, tighter security plan. You should always be vigilant when you're out in public, and what we saw in Paris over the weekend. Uh, just brings that home to everybody. Bengals officials say it's better not to bring bags unless they follow the NFL's clear bag policy. Fans will be scanned for any weapons before they get in the stadium. Canines will sniff for bombs. The NFL is working with Homeland Security and the local fusion center, plus police agencies on every level. I think the NFL has been on the leading edge of sporting events security. Uh, and I, I'm confident that what we will have in place uh, on Monday night is going to be the best of the best. We're super excited. Um, we're hoping for that 9 oh, win tomorrow, so we're excited. Officials say, as usual, if you see something suspicious, just say something. Reporting live from Paul Brown Stadium, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5. All right, thanks a lot, Tammy. Officials with the Fusion Center here in Greater Cincinnati are vowing to stay vigilant, assuring citizens they are taking every precautionary measure to keep you safe. Officials say they don't want people to be afraid to come out. Don't let these type of activities uh, that occurred in Paris uh, sway you from from attending events, we're uh, very vigilant and and uh, we'll make sure that it's a safe uh, environment for all those that are attending. Now you can find more about the Paris attacks, including the very latest reports, on our website, WLWT.com, and also on the WLWT app.